Welcome to yet another Tangle mini project. Today's focus Tangle in our focus flight series is Kangala by Thomas Patros. Kangala is a simple fragment that creates interesting meta tangles when um, we put it together and there's different ways and sequences that we can play with it. So it can be used as a border tangle or as a filler tangle. I'm Samya Mane, I'm an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing Zentangle, my own Zentangle inspired art books and collectibles. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any videos that I post here every Tuesdays and Fridays. Zentangle is a meditative art form that is a relaxing method of creating abstract art using structured patterns. It teaches and focuses on being mindful and present. Zentangle requires no artistic skills. In today's project, I am working on a regular white square tile with my black pen, pencil, and stuff. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. On to tangling now. Okay, so here we are with our supplies for our focus flight series. Our focus tangle is Kangular and um, I'm going to work on a white square tile with my black 301 micron, a PN black micron, a pencil and a stub. So we're going to use these supplies for today's session. And um, so this tangle is basically a fragment that can be put in multiple ways to create different, um, different, you know, uh, tangles. So I'm going to use it as a border tangle. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a pencil border line, something like this. And like this, okay. So, so basically, this is my string. So, I'm going to use my 01 micron, and here's what I'm going to do I am first going to make a few V shapes. So, I have this now. This is not touching the uh, pencil line, the tip of this. Now, I'm going to turn, turn it around again. I'm going to pull out another V facing this way, but this one again, I'm making sure I don't touch the top okay so i'm going to go around doing this Okay, so now I got this basic uh, pattern done. So now I am going to make a V shape like this, uh, slightly coming out and that's okay. And um, I'm going to make another aura like this. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this. So this on, for this V shape, the upside down V shape, this is going to be the inner line and this is going to be the outer V. Right, so I'm going to continue this. So this is going to be my outer and this is going to be my inner. So I'm going to go around doing, doing this. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Tecate pen and we're going to add some black. 
So here's how I'm going to do this. So we're going to maintain this white all through. Okay, so I'm going to add my black here. And black here. So we got this all done. Now I'm going to use um, the standard called Sky. Um, so I'm going to use, but I uh, use my zero one micron. So this standard goes like this. I start somewhere here. I leave a bit of a space and start somewhere here. We kind of make a S shape like that. And so this one is more curved, and this is less curved. And here we're going to make an aura, which is this is less curved, and this is going to be more curved. So something like this. Now again, I'm going to start with the next one. That's going to it's going to be more curved and like that. Okay. So now I am going to pull out a line like this. Okay, should not touch this. And I have another line that's kind of so this is going to touch and come out like this. Right um, now, again, we're going to do the same thing again. So this is going to not touch. Okay. And this is going to touch. So now we're going to pull this line and land it here. So this inner line is going to land here. This outer line is going to land here. Okay, so let's repeat this. Not touching. And this touches. And now we're going to go in here and go there. Like that. So if I want, you can actually go in and finish this line and then pull out another one that kind of touches this and comes in. I'm going to just fix all of that. Right, so we have this and this, this line is kind of going to go off like this. Now we're going to connect the other side. Right, so now I'm going to pretend that this line is going out like this and so here this line is going to touch this and come here and this outer line is going to go this way Okay, so here this one is going to go just pretending that there's something on the other side and this goes so now uh, there are different ways we can fill this uh, we can either fill the whole thing or we can just fill these two sections here 
So for now, I'm just going to fill these two sections and I'm going to add um, triple inside those gaps so we'll see how that goes. So first I'm just going in and I'm filling these with solid black. This, this angle is, um, it looks complicated, but it is, it's fun to explore. Okay, so I'm adding some to person here. Okay, so now we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side as well. But before that, I'm going to connect um, these two here. So we're just going to pull out some lines like this to connect. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and add darks here and then we'll get to the other side. So I've done all that here on this side. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So we're going to start with the S shape, but the, the front of it is going to be um, wider and, this, and the other side is going to be the bottom of it is going to be slightly um, shorter. And for the second, set it's going to be small here and wider there okay so let's repeat this again okay so now we are going to start from here i'm going to put in this line is going out like this and have this now again this line goes out doesn't touch anything and pretty much lands on the outer line of that okay so i'm just going to fix this like that so this is the outer line and this is the inner line and I'm going to fix this. Okay. So here, this goes out like this. 
and now this is going to connect to this and this is going to connect to this okay so again i'm going to use my chicka chip pin to add the blocks okay so use your chicka chip pin to add the blocks and take a time to add the triples as well Okay, so now I'm just going to go in and add these lines. Okay, so can you take your time to do that. Okay, so here it is all done. And I'm going to just, uh, at the bottom, I'm, I'm going to create a um, spangle called static. So it just goes like this, zigzag, 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 and we start all line the zigzags. So I'm going to go in. Okay, so now let's get to shading. So for um, candela, I'm gonna go in and add my pencil here, like like um wherever these lines are going below.
Okay, and now I am going to go right below this. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing on this side as well. Okay, so uh, I've looked on that side and I'm also going to do this side uh, because I really want the triangle to stand out. Okay, and then so here, um, so here I'm going to kind of add my pencil here. We're not going to do the bottom. I'm just adding my pencil here, just kind of create some interest there like that. We can add a pencil like the way we've done, like for the lines that's going under, but. Um, I just, I just wanted to do it slightly different, so, so this is what I did. Same thing here. Okay, and I'm also going to go in and add my pencil here, like along this line. And then we're going to add pencil right in those valleys. Okay, so there it is all done and I'm going to put my initials on now. So let's add it here. Okay. And now let's journal this. So this is today's date the 15th of April 2022 and this is um, focus flight. And we started off with triangle, triangle, and then we did triangle sky, and then we did triangle static, and this was our focus triangle for the day. There it is, all done. Hope you had fun on this project with me. I would love to see your creation. So head on to our Facebook group Zenbees where all the after party fun happens. Share your creations there and check out the works by other Zenbees. If you're sharing your works on social media, then please do tag me at Sanya Manne or hashtag Tangle with Sanya. So I get to see your lovely works there and I do stop by to comment. A quick note, these projects and these videos are for personal use and no part of this can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. To understand the Zentangle method and to get started on your own Zentangle journey, check out my uh, website for um, the beginner's workshop. It's called The Fundamentals of Zentangle. To receive a weekly inspirations, free tips, updates on my upcoming workshops and other cool things that I do across social media, sign up on the link, Tangle to your plate. Join my Facebook group Zenbees for everyday learning through our Tangle repertoire series. It's time to comment now, so please comment and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of videos. 
Also, it's time to show hit that like button and share the video and subscribe to the channel. And I shall see you next on Tuesday in our Tile on Tile string series. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.